Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we'll discuss and show some example on how you can generate random numbers using Rust. In other programming language, for example Python and JavaScript, there are some built-in functionality available using which you can generate random numbers very easily. But unfortunately, there is no utility method readily available in Rust standard library to generate random number. So we have to use an external third party dependency or external create random. But before we proceed with that, I assume that you have a basic understanding of the knowledge about Rust ecosystem. How you can bootstrap a particular Rust project using cargo new the project name. So once you do that, you will get this main.rs file where you can write your actual code and cargo.toml file is used to manage the dependency. In the dependency section of my cargo.toml file, you can see many crate. But for this example, you don't need to worry about other crates. Only one crate you have to add as a dependency inside your toml file is rent project with this latest version. Now let's get started. So this rent is, is from this rent crate what we have added. There we have a multiple functionality. The first thing we have to we we need to do that we have to get this random number generator. Using this random number generator, the name we given like range, and this type is known as thread range. Using thread range function, we can get this particular random number generator. Using this, we can generate by calling some utility function. We'll see in example in a minute. So this particular crate we directly using from this random. So we don't need to import anything in this case. But slowly to make our life easier, we're we'll going to import different different traits or functionality available in this random trait. This uh, random number generator is this function, this particular thread dot range function. Retrieve the lazily initialized thread local random number generator seeded by this system. So using this uh, uh, random number generator, we will going to generate some uh, random numbers. So here, using the first function, we can call dot gen, which will which will we should generate this random number whatever we wanted it, but it needed a trait. If you see by this right hand side, this is one of the most confusing error for the beginner of Rust programming language because we got this thread generator and we calling this function and we don't need any external dependency, but it is still complaining. And if you see this error is not also very explicit in my opinion. So the error saying that no method name gen, this is gen is the method name, is not found in the thread uh, thread range this type. So it is it is trying to say that this method name is not available, but that is not exactly correct. So this method is available, but it is pointing that this particular thread inside this thread range, or oh, whichever the function thread range is a type of struct. Let's see what it is. The thread range is a struct. So inside this IMPL block of thread range, that particular function gen is not available. Then the question is how we can call it. So there is any other concept on a trait. So this particular thread range is implemented in the trait. So it is asking us that this particular gen function is available in this range, range trait. So we have to import this particular trait. Because this thread range struct is implemented in this range trait and range trait is uh, providing this functionality of gen. So once we import this particular range trait, then this particular gen will come into the scope. So it is slightly confusing this error message, but once you do some more programming in Rust, you will get familiar with this uh, trait concept and how this scope is implemented. So just in summary, so we got this, uh, this uh, you know, 
random number generator uh, known as thread range and we are calling this gen function but it is still complaining because it is looking for a trait inside this trait this gen function is available so it, it is very easy to import so once we import this this error is gone and this is a bit important part here in this case i have explicitly given the type u32 32 bit unsigned integer type so you can change this to you know any integer of floating point numbers depending upon the type the you know then the random numbers will vary from the minimum number to maximum number i'll show in a second that how we can specify a range like i we want to generate random number between 1 to 100 that i'll show some example but this particular example this is a random number it is an integer type and this is the random numbers we don't know what is the value of it but this range is from minimum number to maximum number of u32 so if you want you can give u8 or i32 or f32 and so on so depending upon the type of whatever you're providing so this the value will be decided now let's just print it to see how this value looks like So we have printed it. This is a random numbers. Once I save it to value, the value will change. So each time we'll get a different value. See, and the value is in this range of U32, minimum of minimum bound of U32 to maximum bound. And there is an alternative syntax. This is known as swordfish syntax, sword, swordfish type syntax. So instead of giving this type here in the left hand side, you can give like after this, this syntax I don't like personally, but after this func function, you can use the two colon and this give the type name and then you can give this bracket. Then, then this floating point numbers. Then this, then it will also generate a random numbers, but within this floating point boundaries. So it will start from zero to one with F sixty four precision. But one important thing you need need to know about the random numbers. The random numbers, whatever the number you are getting, are not unique. If you're using bigger range like U64, U32, the chances of colliding the numbers is very minimal. But there may be potential that you, you, it cannot be unique. If you're providing a very less particular range like 1 to 100, the chances of getting duplicate would be more. But if you're getting a bigger range like U32, U64, so the getting this colliding of the unique number is very less. So random numbers can generate random numbers, but they're not unique. So this is another function available, gen range. So this is a normal gen, gen function, depending on the type we are getting this number. But in this case, we are, we can, we can give the range. This is the range syntax. This is the one to hundred. If equal to symbol is per inclusive one and hundred. So in this case, we got 92. If you try to save it again, we'll get a different uh, random numbers. In this particular 1 to 100 range, 78. So inside to generate random numbers, there are different algorithms available. So it is complaining, this particular case is complaining that it is unable to find this uniform number. But I'm not sure why this particular is complaining as well, but maybe related or not. But please ignore the type of error. But the uniform, we have to import it. If you see this error. This in uniform. These are some statistical terminology, like for example, standard distribution or, you know, uniform digit. So they will generate this random number based upon some statistical mathematical model, because there are lots of algorithm is being implemented in this rand crate, which provide us a easier way to generate random numbers. 
so we can uh, you know import this uh, uniform distribution under random distribution we are importing uniform and we'll see some example where you can use alphanumeric and standard and distribution as well using this gen function this returns the random value supporting the standard distribution whereas this uniform distribution helps to generate sample values or random values uniformly between two bounds so so it is a uniform that's why it is known as uniform distribution and using this we can provide this range 1 to 10 or 1 to 100 whatever you like and each distribution has a sample function and in few minutes i'll show some example where we can implement our own sample function and generate random numbers for our own structure like we can create our own custom struct type and we can implement this distribution for example uniform standard or some other thing so that random value generated for our own struct type also this is like uniform new we can give a range and sample and in this case also as an input argument we have to pass this you know uh, thread uh, this generator random generator so it will generate the numbers uniformly so in this case you got six so we'll get this uh, random numbers from one to ten because we provided one to ten as a number uh, input range so with this example using gen or gen range or this uniform number we can generate random numbers which is creating a primitive values for example integer or floating point numbers in this case is it possible to create random number like using this gen function can we cut it to point struct or a custom struct so that they, all the time a new instance will be created is that possible so definitely that is possible now, see, now let's see how we can achieve this i'll give a very basic simple example with point type but you can use this particular approach to create any kind of custom struct type so this is like point struct we created with two field x and y both are unsigned integer and to print it uh, just we uh, use this debug derive debug attribute this i think by this time you are much more familiar with this this is just for printing purpose nothing to do with the gener uh, nothing to do with the random number generation this is our simple struct type point and as i said we have a multiple distribution like for example standard uniform these are the already implemented type and this distribution trait this is a trait so once we implement this distribution trait here we have to give the type whatever we our own custom type in our case point and this is the standard distribution type in this case if you notice here closely this trait we are not implementing for this struct we are not implementing distribution point for point struct rather we are implementing for standard struct this standard struct is a part of random create it is generic random value distribution implemented for many primitive types but usually usually generate values with a numerical unique distribution and with a range appropriate to the type so using which we can you know once we implement for this particular thing so using this random generator we can call this gen function and we can get this point type here so only one function you have to implement this sample you don't need to worry too much about the signature if you're using vs code once you write this particular line this should be auto auto complete will happen and you will get all this particular signature by in cell so this is one particular function which is available in the distribution trait sampling this is responsible for creating the instance of your custom type so if you see this uh, return value is point and the input value is point as well uh, this point instance here x and y you are responsible to generate uh, whatever the algorithm you want to use in this case i am taking this input as range 
I'm not using this R here. This is particular, this R is stand for, you know, uh, I'm giving like uh, uh, trait bound, which should be a range trait as well as in, uh, sized, unsized. So using this range, I am calling this gen range function 0 to 10. Each time you will call this particular distribution or this particular gen function, you will get a new point with uh, x, y value ranging from 0 to 10. Now let's see how to call it. So the way we call here range.gen, same way you can call range.gen, but here in this step point, because of our uh, trait implementation, we can able to cast to a point section and it will create a P1 instance or each time. So similarly, you can create P2 instance and debug both the thing. So see the P1 is generated XY different value and XY different value. So you can create uh, the random uh, instances of P1 and P2. Now one very important use case for particular random number generator. You can not only create these numbers, but you can create alphanumeric strings as well. And you can specify that how much length you need, like 20 or 10. So the, the 10 or 20 character will be generated uniquely. So you can generate random password. And you can, uh, you can build in your website like random password generator or you can reset the password so that it would be helpful. So in this case, uh, you, can use the, you can use this range or uh, this is like functional style. The same particular uh, random number generator I use, if you see this type is thread gen. And it, will, it has uh, lots of utility function. We seen uh, earlier like we usually call this gen function and cast it to the numbers. But in this case, we are getting an iterator. So iterator can go to any level, simple iterator. It will keep on iterator when we are passing this alphanumeric. So each time we do next, it will generate a simple character like A, B, C, D or number alphanumeric, both the numbers as well as character. But in, after iterator, we are only interested in getting the 10 values only. This is lazily evaluated. All this functional paradigm will be calculated when you call a collect. And instance may function each uh, character u8. We are converting to the character. Character from the c u8. And each and each every character we are collecting or we are combining to a string representation. So basically this we are instantiating a thread generator. We are getting a sample iterator and we are iterating up to only 10 values and we are looping through each byte because each are u8 byte they're not character we are converting the character because string is a collection of characters and once we do collect here we can write vector as well as string because string is nothing but a vector type vector of character so we can represent it in a proper string so once we print it so we will get the 10 character, you know, random numbers. See here, this is a random number string. Here we have a numbers and the characters. If you run again, I'm just saving it. And inside right hand side, I'm using cargo watch to listen to the file changes and run the cargo run all the time. So here see the U it is a, not only then is a lower case upper case also it is generating and this number also there and this the length of this string is you know 10. Before I wrap up for today's videos I would like to give a big thank you to this rush cookbook book which is available in this particular link I will give this link in the description below. So in this book, you are, all the example I have derived from this particular book with minor changes. Here you can see this random numbers range and you know, how to generate password and so on. So I would highly recommend to go through this particular book. You'll see plenty of different examples in this book.
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग हैव ए गुड डे हेड बाय बाय